combine. So within this uh, the harvest, there was tares that were, um, were that was uh, was known as the scribes and also the Pharisees. When Jesus began to heal the sick man, the, they were more focused on him or what he said versus than the act that he did. Also, the Pharisees began to uh, condemn him of uh, eating with the sinners. But Jesus said that he didn't come for the people that were righteous, but he came for the people that were unrighteous. Um, also, he began to uh, cast out devils uh, among the people too as well. So all this time that he was going about to start the harvest that Adam had messed up in the beginning, which also Jesus was known as the second man, Adam. He began to go to different people. He wasn't uh, concerned about how they looked, was concerned about uh, who they were, but he's concerned about the soul and the, the, the mission that he was sent down here to do and by himself. And this is our declaration that we should give to the world that says, Ho! Listen up! Amen! Everyone that thirsted, yeah. come ye to the waters, and he that had no money, yeah. come ye buy and eat. Right, yeah, right. come buy wine and milk without yeah. money. Yeah. Amen! Yeah. And we know Bishop was talking about that spiritual wine of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's what he's talking about. People are turning to alcohol. They're buying this, buying that, buying cars and homes, looking for happiness, but they need that joy that comes from the Holy yeah. Ghost. Yeah. Amen. They need that nourishment. That milk represents the nourishment of God, the satisfaction of God. Those, those vitamins, you know, that you find in milk to help you grow. Spiritually speaking, everything that you need is in God. Amen. It says without money and without price. Amen. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? They buy and stuff, but it ain't the Turn solution. Turn the person who went out preaching. Amen. Warning every man of the wrath to come. Amen. Raking the harvest ready. So when Jesus stepped on the scene, all he had to do was say, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The Bible tells us in John 3.16 that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Amen. So the harvest was being reaped. Amen. As he went out and told everybody, as Sister Tanae said, somebody just needs to know that Jesus loves you. All you got to do is come out of your sins and be delivered. The harvest is ready. All we got to do is throw that sickle in. Amen. And reap the harvest. Glory be to God. We just got to tell somebody that Jesus is ready for your soul. Jesus is ready to take control. Jesus is ready to bring you out. Jesus is ready to save you. Jesus is ready to clean you up. You ain't got to go back no more. You ain't got to bow down to the devil no more. You ain't got to be bound anymore. But Jesus came to reap the heart. In heaven. God, we can bring that harvest in. When we lift him up God, from the earth like Bishop preached on Sunday, then we can truly bring that harvest in. Because it's more than you just saying a Christian and wearing a title, but it's about the life. He said that I, Christ said that I must work the works of him that sent me while in his day. Because the night cometh when no man can work. So we got to labor. We got to do them the works that lift Christ up. He said, for you were sometimes darkness. We are not of the darkness, but we are of the day. And we got to put it Yes, now we are the light of the Lord and we got to walk as children of light because when God created the, the light he said that it was good he called it good so there was a difference between light and darkness so we got to be children of light so that we can be sent for so we can cast out devils so we can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover so people need to see the light they need to see Christ in us the hope of glory so they can see that there is that there's, 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 there's a true God and you do witnessing, huh? do prayer, huh? do, 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 do talking to, huh? and you do the life that we live. Huh? Don't be me to call. Huh? We are planting seeds. Huh? Let the souls that have been sick, huh? we have been planting seeds. Huh? Let the souls huh? that, that, that don't know God, huh? but it's time now huh? to go gather up huh? what's been planted. Huh? Somebody was in need. He knew somebody. 
somebody was in need of deliverance. He knew somebody was in need of salvation. It's harvest time, hallelujah. It's time for us to go out, hallelujah. It's time for us to go out, hallelujah, and profess the word of God, hallelujah. Like Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. For it is the power, it is the power of God, hallelujah, unto salvation, hallelujah. It said to everyone that believe it. Keep on, you know, not, on drugs. Who still, who still can pray? Am I right? People that have a, a bugs in, the hair, in their hair, that's the hardest. It won't be everybody coming in with a Mercedes and a Beamer. That's right. With Stacey Adams shoes and suits. That's right. Tattoos. What? We talking about drugs. We talking about cartel folk and all kinds. God is able to say it. Amen. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes. But if we can't be addicted to God and addicted to loving one another, what you going to do on Lancaster? Hello? Pastor to have a need. <laughs> she got kids. The seniors have a need. And they got kids. The person sitting beside you have a need. And you know you can let loan them a dollar. Huh, this is my dog. No, what you gonna do over yonder? That's right. 